there right now. Wireless uh, networking. It's most. It's all for audio, not for video. But it's it's pretty cool. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, what can I do to help you, sir? Well, um, a few months ago, I did something really, really stupid. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know why everybody calls me with their really stupid stories, but uh, maybe maybe I look like the kind of guy who might have done the same thing. What did you do, Kyle? Well, I um, I was doing some. The company I used to work for I was doing some work for them. We were working on um, an encryption system oh. and playing around with some stuff. I was using Windows EFS um, encryption. And the encrypted file system, I, right? Yeah, I thought I was actually encrypting an empty folder. Uh -oh. It turned out to be the folder that had all the family pictures in it, <laughs> oh, no. and the pictures have been destroyed in a fire since then. Oh, so, no! Uh, yeah. Now, I think I've come... I, we ended up going with uh, PointSec, which is a low-level encryption like uh, TrueCrypt is, but... Um, in the end, I accidentally formatted my system, backed up the pictures, but didn't back up the private key for the EFS files. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, I've been trying to look around to find any kind of hacks for it or anything uh. like that, and I came across some software called Encase, which is forensic software. It's rather expensive. And, and it will not work. Yeah, well, they, they apparently have an EDS module they say should be able to remove EFS encryption if I know the username and password that was used, but the software is ridiculously expensive, and... It will I not work. I could tell you right now, don't waste your money. Okay. Uh, is there any hope? <laughs> it's bad news, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what happened is, um, you, first of all, it uses strong encryption. Mm -hmm. So that, that means it's not crackable, period. Uh, you lost a certificate, right? And that's how Windows does it. It creates, and, and this happens a lot because people don't know that a certificate has been created. So they back up the folder, but they don't back up the certificate. You actually have to go in. There's a certificate backup, you know, wizard that will back up your certificates. But if you don't know that, and you just copy the files over and think you've got them, boy, right. you got you got a you got a real surprise when it says, well, no, uh, I you, you may even know the password and the username. But without that certificate, you can't do it. And if you know, it sounds like you know a little bit about encryption if you were working with it. Uh, public, key public key cryptography has two keys, a public key that is used to encrypt and a private key that is used to decrypt. You lose the private key, there is no known way of unencrypting. Uh. So when NCASE says they can do it, uh, I am extremely skeptical. Okay. Uh, the only way that they could do that is if you, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how they would, you know, that, that's the whole point of strong encryption is that, now how long was the key that you created, do you know? Uh, no, actually. I think not, Windows I doesn't give you that option. I'm sure it creates a big key, like a 1,024-bit key. If right. It, if, it did, if, it, if it created a 40-bit key which nobody does anymore. That, in fact, there used to be in the old days of surfing the net that the SSL keys, uh, you could get a 40-bit key. It was using 40-bit right. symmetric encryption. 40-bit uh, has been cracked, not without a lot of effort, not without hundreds of computers working for months on it. Right. 128-bit um, symmetric encryption, which is what all SSL uses, is un unbreakable, period. And uh, so now the key itself that you lost is probably a, uh, you know, a thou is a, that that is an asymmetric key. Those are public keys. Those are longer. Um, if it's a long key, it would take longer than the life of the universe to brute force crack it. I don't think you have that much time, Kyle. No, none of I us don't do. Either. <laughs> you know, I I mean, I, it breaks my heart. These are pictures you have no copy of. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but things happen. I was just kind of hoping, you know, it being Microsoft, but I found out that they bought it, the encryption from, I believe, Atlantic, so... <laughs> yeah, well, you're right, because they have done some things poorly in the past, but in this case, they're using good, strong, public key RSA encryption. They can't break it. Right. You can't break well, it. Well, I guess that covers it. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kyle. What's the name uh, of your company? It's uh, Blue Wave Entertainment. And so the if website's you're, not up yet. If you're in Manitoba and you need a home theater, Blue Wave Entertainment... <laughs> Poor Kyle, he's lost his family photos. Give him some business to make take out the sting.